good morning. I'll show you guys my little outfit. I'm wearing the Hermitia jumpsuit because they're so comfy. This little pullover from Zara. My Uggs because it's cold as tits out. Then I'm gonna put my coat on. It's 40 degrees. Degrees to y'all might not be shit, but to me it's a big deal. I need to find Gemma and make sure she's not in one of our rooms. Mainly because I'm not going to be here for a long ass time. I might have to go get my niece. I don't know yet because my sister asked me to go get her. And then she texted me saying that their flight is leaving early so I don't have to go get her. Girl, you hear me calling you. <laughs> That's like one of her new hiding spots that I keep forgetting about. I just like to see her before I leave the house because I get paranoid that she's like gone or something. And I don't want to be gone for hours. And then my cat's outside in the cold or in the heat, whatever season it is. My lashes are back. I was gonna go get Josie, but my sister said that her flight ended up being like pushed forward two hours earlier or some shit. Like, God, this camera's about to die. Anyways, I went and got my lashes done and then I had lunch with Parker really quick. I'm not getting Josie because my sister's flight got pushed forward, so I don't need to get Josie. It was a little sad because I wanted to get Josie. But I'm about to go to Target right now. I have a whole bunch of house shit that I need to get. I'm talking so fast. Oh my God. I'll just vlog off my phone, I guess, because I don't have an extra battery. Love that. We're back home. Oh my God. Can you focus? I didn't even really get Christmas stuff. I think I said I was going there for Christmas stuff or did I say that I was going there for cleaning supplies? I don't know. Either way, I was going there for both and surprisingly, I didn't get a lot of Christmas stuff. They're just, it's just not giving this year. Target wasn't giving for Halloween either, which was kind of shocking to me because that's usually where I get all my Halloween stuff. I did still get quite a few things that we needed for the house. Some of it is boring, so I'll just like get that out of the way pretty quick. Hurry up on cleaning supplies, just a bunch of it that you need to have in your house for it to not be gross. Some new wrapping paper. Christmas season is here. We have some Christmas presents coming in. They're just like sitting by the door. Parker and the boys are like, what is that? What is that? Oh, that's not acceptable. We need to start wrapping. I usually like to get each boy a different, or each kid if we have all the kids, but this year we're just having the boys, their own wrapping paper. So in the morning, you don't have to like look for the names. They can just pick the wrapping paper and know which one's theirs. So I got this one. It says like bright and merry. It's a Christmas typical black one. This one has Christmas trees on it. I got this one. It's like not gold, but it's not like paper. I guess it is like paperish. Got these for Parker's and forever else's, I guess, in the family, like my dad's or something. Tape this as a Christmas gift. I got these. Yeah to go on the console suite. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them because Gemma, I feel like she's going to eat them. They're styrofoam, so I mean, I don't think that will kill her, but they're already falling off onto my counter, which means if these are just falling off by themselves, Gemma's going to be able to destroy these. They're just so freaking beautiful. Like, look how pretty this is, so I don't know. I might try it and see how she does. The fake plants that I have up there right now, she thinks they're real. I don't know why the hell she thinks they're real, but she's always up there chewing on them, and that's why I think that she's gonna fuck with these. Which made me think about what are we gonna do with our Christmas tree, because we get a real Christmas tree, and I know she's gonna be on there trying to piss on the Christmas tree or like climb it, because that's what cats do. I just don't even know how we're gonna do that this year. I told y'all that we're going to Florida for Thanksgiving, so since we're gonna be traveling, I like the boys to be as comfy as possible. Them, these little slides, look how cute these are. Oliver's have a little back on them. These for Brian, they're the same, but they just don't have the strap on the back. Both of the boys' schools have emailed me about sending them with coats and hats, so I went and picked up some of those. I got this one for for Brian and then this one for Oliver. My godson, this little blue outfit, got Oliver the same sweatsuit but in green. I was gonna get Oliver the blue one, but then I saw the green one and then I was gonna get him the green one so they could match, but they didn't have his size in the green one, so I still ended up getting Oliver the green one. I went into the clothing section for myself and there was so much cute stuff. Most of this I'm gonna have to return. I did a haul on TikTok. If you follow me on TikTok, you've probably already seen the haul. If you think that any of this will fit you, go get it. If it fit me, I would have kept it, but none of it fit me the way that I want it to. And I am trying to like not hoard anymore. I'm trying to, if nothing fits me and if I'm not gonna wear anymore to get rid of it. This is this black dress, super cute. I thought it was gonna fit me like way cuter than it did. And then it has like a bow in the back. I Ugh, this one is so freaking pretty. I'm so upset it doesn't fit me. It fits my body. It's just too long on me. Like, look how sparkly this is. I know sequins can, like, quickly turn really tacky and cheap looking, but these don't give me that vibe. Like, this really does give me, like,
like sexy like date night vibes to it. Same with this one. I don't know, they're just so cute to me. It didn't fit me at all. Like it was way too big on me, but like the lace on it mixed with the sequins just makes it look so cute. And the bottom of it, I'm gonna link everything for you guys. All right, I'm gonna put all of this up and go do some freaking laundry. Sounds so fun, right? Laundry, yay. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the next day. I have both the boys home with me today. Parker's here too, he's just downstairs working. Brian caught whatever bug is going around. Give it to Oliver, Oliver's not doing too bad, but he still has like a nasty cough and now I woke up this morning with my throat on fire. It's kind of what we had a few weeks ago. I don't even think I vlogged, but I did mention it, how we were like really sick and it started off with Brian and then Oliver got sick and then I got sick and the Parker got sick, but it lasted on me for like two weeks. It feels the exact same. It's not COVID. I don't even have fevers. Like Brian got really close to fever. His temperature got to like 99 point something. He woke up this morning saying that it felt like somebody was hammering his head. Basically what I was saying last time. Like it just really feels like you have COVID but you don't have COVID. It's something that's going around. A lot of people are getting it right now. A lot of kids in his class had it at one point there was only like five kids in class one day and so it finally got brian sucks because we're supposed to leave in four days i'm hoping it doesn't stick with me for as long as it did last time i have laundry going if that's if you can hear that other than my throat though i feel completely fine so i'm gonna go about my day i have some work to do on the computer right now housekeepers are also here so it's like a full house right now i hate being here when they're here only because I feel like it makes them feel uncomfortable because I feel like I would be uncomfortable if I was like cleaning a house and homeowners were here. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I usually like to just give them their space. I'm trying to keep the boys upstairs while they're downstairs and then whenever they come upstairs, I'll go downstairs with the boys. I want to get ready because I have an appointment today to get a new piercing. I was going to re-pierce my third hole. I think it's still open because I thought this one was closed too and then i ended up getting a ring in it last night i don't know if i'm gonna have to re-pierce it i might just get her to get me a flat back jewelry piece in there so i don't have to have like this one is like sticking out and last night it was so uncomfortable but i didn't want to take it out i want to put a hoop right here I have that at three o'clock like only 10 40. i feel like i've had a full freaking day everybody just playing hooky today huh? what everybody's just playing hooky today you're supposed to be in school, boy. Why? I don't think you're sick enough. I, I am sick. Show me. <coughs> <laughs> and this one too. What? Just out of school, playing hooky. Have you even brushed your teeth yet? Dirty mouth boy. I'm telling your girlfriend. I'm tired. Got ready to make myself feel a little better. <laughs> I'm just wearing a white top from my outfit online. Then I'm wearing these pants that I got from Target yesterday. They're like flare Aritzia too. I've been so obsessed with the Misty or Blooming Bouquet perfume. It smells so good. I did first put it on in Sephora. It might smell a little bit like hairspray. And I was like immediately new. And then I left and I started smelling myself like an hour or two later. And I was like, oh my God, I smell so good. I'm kind of hungry now. I still have a little bit of work to do, but I think I need some food. I asked Oliver to get me some shoes. Look what he got me. <laughs> Come on, let me show you what my How are you feeling? Give us an update. Better? Y'all look at my freaking tree. Oh my god. Is she is huge. Remember the ones that we saw those bigger than our house? I saw some at Dallas Zoo when we went in June. No, not Dallas Zoo, Fort Worth Zoo. The ones at Fort Worth Zoo in like the gorilla space are insane. I'm about to get us some food because we're starving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Escaped the madness of boogie nosed sick children. I have my appointment today, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, to get my ear piercing changed or re pierced, whichever she thinks is best. I'm at Target returning those dresses that I got yesterday because they just do not fit me. I also want to get a hair gloss. Everybody's telling me my red is coming through, and I'm like, oh, baby, no. Okay. I'm to take off my jacket because it's chilly outside, but it's like hot as fudge in my car. This is the gloss I ended up getting. It's the Kristen S Hair Signature Gloss in Bittersweet, which is a dark neutral brown. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I'm making dinner tonight and my dad and my sister 
are gonna come over. Got the mini tarts. I keep trying all these damn new concealers. Tried the NARS, tried the, what is that? What is that? I showed it on here, I can't even freaking remember. I've tried so many. I tried the Hourglass, no. I'm using the Dior one right now and it's just okay. Not like obsessed with it like I am with this and so I was like, why the hell? Am I trying to change something that isn't broken? Like, I'm such a creature of habit that I think I was like trying to get out of my comfort zone and then I just was like, you know what, let me just crawl back. Let me just, let me just roll back a little bit and just stick with what I know. So I got a mini one for the trip in a different shade because usually I'm shade 35N, got a 34S. Hopefully it works, I don't know. I'm gonna try it tomorrow. Let's go get my ear pierced. I'm a little scared. My ideal outcome would be that she's gonna be able to get a piercing in this hole. I think it's closed, but also I was able to get a piercing like halfway in there i'm a p-u-s-s-y and i just stopped because i was like oh my god this is gonna fucking hurt okay update so i got this one repairs i just put a little gold stud in there i got it with the backs that are flat it's like my third time piercing my third hole and then on this side it was already pierced so i just got a matching gold little dot here she said it wasn't ready to put the hoop in like she said she would do it but she didn't recommend it. She was like, honestly, if you wanted to wait till like this one was healed another like four to six weeks, it would be better. So I just was like, I'm just gonna wait. Like, I don't wanna risk getting any nasty shit in my ear getting it infected and I'm not in a rush, obviously. So I'm gonna wait to get the hoop in there, but I did want her to make the bar shorter because it was like catching onto my hair and I think that's affecting it healing correctly because it keeps pulling on my ear. My name is Lucy, she's really sweet. Her shop in there is so cute. I'm like too shy to record. I don't even know if that's allowed in tattoo shops, but I will put her Instagram up here if you guys are interested in getting like your ear pierced. She does like really, really pretty intense ears. Designs ears basically and makes them so freaking pretty. Let's go, I think I'm gonna stop at the grocery store and get stuff for dinner. We're gonna see. I told my dad to come at seven, but I need to go get this stuff. I'm coming at you, cause I know you got a this vlog because I have to take Lou to the groomer and whatever sicky boogie nose stuff that my children have they give me and now I feel like absolute dog shit so I'm gonna end this vlog hopefully we're better in two days because we leave for Florida <laughs> so thanks for watching I'll see you in my next vlog